Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Compliance Week TV. I'm Matt Kelly, editor of Compliance Week, and this is the latest in our occasional series of short videos where we talk about compliance issues of the day. We sit down with various newsmakers or experts in the compliance field and hear their thoughts about what is going on to give you some ideas of how you can manage your compliance program more effectively. Now today we're going to talk about email management. That is certainly a hot topic because what employees put in email, often thoughtlessly, sometimes maliciously, uh, can be a cause of great concern for corporate compliance. Companies generally do have some regulatory requirement out there to preserve some part of their email. They often, however, in practice, wind up preserving far more email than they need, and that, in consequence, increases your risk of legal liability down the road should you ever wind up in litigation. So the question is, how do you preserve the emails you do need, and how do you discard the emails you don't, and how do you know which one is which? That is what we are here to talk about today. And joining me to talk about that is Scott Burt. Scott is CEO of Integro, which is an IBM software value net partner, and it works in the email management space. Uh, Scott, thank you for joining us today. Matt, thanks very much for having me. I appreciate it. Sure. So now, first question is maybe if you could just give us a glimpse of the state of email management today. If I am a compliance officer reviewing my email management program, what are the pain points I am likely to find? That's a that's a great question. And uh, you're right, email management is a very hot topic today. If you're an email management, if you're a compliance officer looking at an email management program, you're likely to find one of two broad scenarios. Mm -hmm. One is you don't have good policies, you don't have good systems and programs in place, and it's a little bit of the wild, wild west. And so email could be stored anywhere in PST files, local archives, and uh, uh, large volumes of content. and um, without a lot of policies. So it's when a discovery, a legal case comes up and you have to do discovery, it's going to be an expensive and a challenging process. Now, the other major uh, category is the customers or the companies that think they solved the problem. They put in an email archiving solution and started saving everything. And uh, the challenge is now they have a case of massive over-retention where they really only need to keep a, a small amount of content they may be kept five or ten times the amount of information that they uh, should have kept. This is important. Why? Well, because the storage costs are very expensive, but then for the compliance side, uh, when litigation arises, searching through all that volume of content, having lawyers review all of that content, very expensive, especially when they didn't need to have it in the first place. Okay. So it sounds to me like compliance programs are stuck between two extremes. You can automate email retention management and you will probably wind up with more than you should have. I could also try to do this manually and that will cost me a fortune and take forever. So what is the solution that threads the needle there and builds in some intelligence but keeps some automation? How do we get that? Right, right. So a central repository or archive is important but deciding what to put in there is uh, the challenge. Mm -hmm. And uh, there are a lot of approaches from everything, which we just talked about as a, a failed approach. Um, and then you can automate, try to put so software uh, at the servers to read everybody's email and figure out what to keep and what not to keep. And while it has shows some promise, it's still a challenge today and it will still cause over retention because you'll have to set the thresholds quite low. Mm -hmm. On the other extreme is ask the users to be very involved in the process. We've actually been quite successful with our product in applying uh, philosophies and approaches to email and tools so that uh, you can do it with the user pretty effectively, but there's still a lot of apprehension. Mm -hmm. So as with a lot of problems, the answer does not lie at either extreme. The best answer we believe is, is in the middle. And that is leveraging software and technology for what it can do to help contextually analyze that content and help that user decide what is important, what should be defined as a record, what category it should go into, and that kind of thing. So keeping the user in control, the user being the subject matter expert of their email, and but giving them the tools to make them very efficient and uh, consistent. Okay. Now, I want you to talk about the user just a little bit more yeah. because at the end of the day, even with the right technology, uh, this is a people problem and you need to get your employees to think, monitoring my email is great, I'm all for it. And that 
sounds like it is a very hard sell. Yep. So how can you manage that PR campaign really to get people to embrace the idea of proper email management? That's a good question. So email is such a personal experience for, for individuals and how they do their email and, and uh, uh, they get very sensitive when uh, the, the big brother, the company, comes and says, we're going to manage email and define what you can keep around and that kind of thing. Sure. Um, and so there is a bit of apprehension, but we can reduce that apprehension quite a bit because with the new technologies and the software that we have available, it can actually help the user be more productive in managing their email. A common complaint we hear from business users today is info glut. I just get way too much email. I spend too many hours a day doing my email. And uh, the beautiful thing is, is we can use this software and the technology to watch how an individual does their email every single day, mm -hmm. learn from that, and then assist the user in managing their inbox. So rather than an end user a person taking their email and just reviewing it from the last email, working their way backwards to where they last checked email, uh, they can look in at a, a prioritized inbox. What is most important? What is a potential business record? And what is unimportant and relegated to the bottom of the list? Mm -hmm. Pretty neat stuff, and we think the users will be uh, quite thrilled with the uh, prospect here. All right. Well, Scott, that's actually all the time we have today, but you covered plenty of ground for us, so thank you very much. We appreciate it. Thank you, Matt. Great. And again, everybody, that was Scott Burt. He is CEO of Integro, an IBM software value net partner and a player in the email management space. And Scott was talking with us about good email management strategies. If you'd like to know more about this, we will be hosting a webcast on this topic on September 23rd featuring Scott and Integro. Uh, that will be free and open to all. It will be on our website, compliancework.com. You can go there to register. We will also be displaying the URL for the registration page at the end of this program, so you can look for it there as well. But other than that, that concludes this episode of Compliance Week TV. I'm Matt Kelly, editor of Compliance Week. Thank you all for joining us, and I hope you will see us again next time.